everybody welcome and or welcome back to my channel my name is Leah Catherine and this is Leah sees movies away from home edition uh, in keeping with the tradition I tenuously set last year all Christmas and Christmas adjacent videos will be filmed in the onesie because it's comfortable and I don't want to change out of it all right so last week's episode was a bit more of a one-off it didn't seem like it's gonna play a greater part in their larger arc of this season but I also had a bunch of conspiracy theories as to how it could be if Vandal Savage's appearance could be Vandal Savage's appearance and you know the questionable running of Bell Rev could be the things that start to set off some red flags for the league and specifically Batman since he seems to be the only one that thinks I'm hoping I'm right just for this you know the validation but Maybe not. Either way, it was a really enjoyable episode where Wally learns about the true meaning of heroism and that was just so warm and wholesome and I enjoyed it a lot and I'm looking forward to this episode which I hope keeps that vibe especially for, you know, holiday season and wholesomeness and warmth and goodwill for all men and such and such. We're kind of winding down to the end of the season so I feel like we're not gonna have too many one-offs at this point. Like it seems like we're gonna be going hard into the major plot arc of what the light is aiming to do but every time I've said that for like the last four episodes we've had really strong character focused episodes so perhaps I'm entirely wrong we will see I'm gonna stop talking let's get started um, hey there's something you both need to see black canary in green arrow <laughs> what <laughs> he has evil eyes in the video but is that he deserve a reward Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this literally. <laughs> There's no version of this that isn't haunting. Black Canary, child molester, or horrifying role play. Just. Meow. <laughs> nope. Don't like that. Dino, I don't like that. I... That never happened. You need to keep watching. Play. Oh, worse it is. Please play back. <laughs> ah! Horrifying role play. <laughs> this is not in the spirit of the season. This is. <laughs> On Mars, this is a common game. My people all shapeshift, but also read minds. So <laughs> no one is ever misled. <laughs> no. But my niece does not understand things are different on Earth. What? Then I'll make her. He said, understand. don't worry, everyone's kinky like this on Mars. We're all into roleplay there. Hello, Megan. Haunting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is hey, just a sec. Guys. Come in. <sighs> no. How do you so have that? I see that among humans, so... that game could be very hurtful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not upset anymore. I know we've discussed the consent thing with telepathy, but whoa. <laughs> Please do not roleplay as me while making out with your six-month-old teenage boyfriend. I cannot even explain how... They skipped right past the talk because I don't even know how you would begin to approach that. ...of Korok. Arjavdi has been praised as a fair, wise leader, a humanitarian. Because he's meeting with this billionaire. Arjavdi suddenly backs Queen Bee's baseless claim that Korok and Bialya were one nation in ancient times. After the ceremony, I will step down as president so that our rightful monarch, Queen Bee, may rule. I yeah. That's a bit suspicious. Fying our peoples, and I will gladly come to Karak. Okay, I know she's the bad guy, but like they shouldn't make her look so good because I want her outfit, I want her makeup. Like there's nothing wrong with her. Twelve seconds later. Censored the press, silenced all legitimate protest, and invited the Bialian military into his country to enforce martial law. Okay, that's not great. Doesn't she have the power to enthrall most men? And some women, <laughs> but not the And some women! <laughs> the LGBT. Me? What about Aqualad? Busy helping Aquaman. I'm gonna try to keep thinking of LGB Queen Bee jokes. We're right above the Karaki Dialian border. Process of ignoring. I mean, they're ignoring it, but technically, through mind control reasons, they have been 
The border has been revoked. No opposition. Guess how Javti really is in bed with Bialya. Wouldn't expect opposition here. It's an animal sanctuary. The Logan Animal Sanctuary? You've heard of it? Guys, the tanks have caused a stampede. <laughs> with civilians in harm's way. Deploy, but stealth mode. If the Bialians know we hit him, this becomes an international incident. I mean, you could just rescue the people in harm's way and go about your business. Like, I understand that they're trying, they're suspicious, the whole situation is very whatever, but just rescue the people about to be stampeded and then go about your business. Are you both all right? We diverted the Bialians around the sanctuary. You should be safe now. You may have made things worse. Bialian border crossings are a way of life here. Usually they wreck a few fences and move on. Engaging them might have made us a target. I mean, it was a very stupid plan, to be completely fair. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually meeting you in person. Uh, I've, I've, uh, admired your stance on animal rights. Was Marie Logan the child actor who was in that TV show? I think Marie Logan was a child actor. I suppose it was unavoidable. But both need to go to our clinic. The boys can do that. You and I can, uh, fix your fences. That's not exactly our- Robin, please, Mom! <sighs> Fine. Fine. Yeah. Hey, get it off! Hello, <laughs> it's okay. Meet Monkey. Good Creative. name. <laughs> Good name! He would be like, wow, I love the way there's just no creativity at all involved. Just identify them by species. You're worried about Miss Martian and my mom, huh? What do you mean? I mean, she looks exactly like Marie. You know, except greener. She does? Well, duh, especially back when Mom was a TV star on Hello, Megan. Bidip, bidip, bidip. Way before we were born. Only one season. You can't even find it online. And yet, Mars apparently was... I mean, actually, that's kind of what happens. You go to a country, like, the, the weirder, the poorer the neighborhood, the more uh, niche the DVDs How get. How was it? Being Megan? Being Megan? I, I don't know. I was young. It was fun. Remember that time you were supposed to make cookies for the bake sale? Listen, Hello Megan was a job. The person you saw on TV isn't who I am. It's so embarrassing. Whoa, you still have VHS. Where's your 8-track? Wait. <laughs> Aircraft, headed this way. Gar, stay put. Gar? Gar who likes monkeys and lives in an animal reserve? Where's my son? I ordered fish, him fish, to fish. Inside. He's eight. He doesn't do orders. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I got the animals out. What? Oh, that was a terrible plan. Oh. Ooh, baby, do we have an origin story about to happen? If it involves alien blood transfusions, I would like someone to Venmo me five dollars. I told you there'd be consequences. Always. Let's get him inside. Oh, you just killed two people. I mean, they could be drones, but I just feel like we should acknowledge if the team, like, literally kills people. He needs a blood transfusion now. Is either of you O negative? No, sorry. Bro, I am killing it this episode! What's Superboy's blood type? He's Kryptonian. And Miss Martian... Might be able to help. My shape-shifting occurs at the cellular level. I think I can morph my blood to match his. Please, try. Y'all, if I absolutely just got this right. Mm. And then he gets shape-shifting abilities, but only into animals, I guess. Not sure why that would be. Okay, that was creepy. K KF, can you find a new station? Sure. Which remote is it? <laughs> Hello, Megan. School and boys and parents too. Whole lot to juggle for Miss You Know Who. <laughs> oh gosh, if the love interest on the show looks suspiciously Superboy like. Center of attention and so much more. Hello, Megan. <laughs> oh, that's not well adjusted at all. Hello, Megan. The girl for me, the girl for you. Hello, Megan. 
This is real awkward to find out in the middle of a mission because it's just like. But didn't you invite a certain someone to study here? Hello, Megan. I cannot explain how deeply uncomfortable I am right now. Connor? Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, pure coincidence. It's done. All we can do now is wait. The role play goes deep with this girl. Real deep. It's yeah. Simon, the psychic we fought last time we were in Bialia. He was working for Queen Bee then. He must be controlling her Javdi for her now. I will say, does he he didn't seem to need to be that close to them. And he has a very recognizable face. I feel like maybe I would have put him behind the stage. Yeah. Where's my daughter? Where's Simon? Forget him. Let's get you out of here. Those are apocalyptic weapons. Which they'll use to kill her Javdi. We get blamed and Queen B gets to rule Korok. I found Simon. Wait, I'll get her. No. No, what? don't get her. I'm distracted by the mission by just how awkward all of these revelations were. R.E. McGann and her stressing lack of sense of self. You didn't think that maybe if you could sense me, I could sense you too? Sense. Show me who, or rather what, you really are. Is she a white Martian? Ah! Kill Ling It this episode. Granted, that was only like a three seconds before prediction, but... Thank you for saving my father. We will take care of him now. <laughs> McCann, we're coming. Ah! Well, <laughs> done. Brain blasting your own team. I had Jeez. no idea you'd go to. Oh my god! She's cute! She really just pulled a don't look. Bothered. It's being recorded for posterity. No! I mean, who really cares? You're already an alien. I mean, Martians care, I get it. But on Earth, like, who knows? Is it like a genetic mutation to become white? Or like, I don't understand how it works on Mars. And like, we assume she's a niece of Martian Manhunter. And then there's that line about him not actually having met her before. So she was cosplaying as a green Martian. Would he not be aware that she's not actually what a green Martian? to yourself within your own mind? It's not a lie. This is I feel like they're probably gonna answer all these questions. But I'm gonna ask them anyway. Wow. And they say I'm pathological. <laughs> In our WandaVision era, we're giving you therapy by force. And the entire reality you've created is fake and it's because you're trying to avoid your own deep-seated trauma. Let's dig a little deeper, find out what we're really afraid of. <gasps> Keep back! Oh yeah, where is Artemis? Why isn't she on this mission? You should have told us the truth but there is no place for you on earth now like would humans have any reason to be like eh white martians are weird like i mean you're funky looking but you're an alien no please stop i mean Love he's you. still in the toddler I phase so it doesn't really you. matter like does he really have a place to judge what you wouldn't do to prevent that now right that's right But finding out McGann's a little unhinged makes me like her more. <laughs> like, she's annoying, but it's literally... Well, damn! Wow. She really, truly said, I am in <laughs> my Scarlet Witch era. Simon? He brain blasted you. I stopped him. Is she more powerful than uh, Martian Manhunter because she's a white Martian? And like, what do you mean the president? Come on, look at that me. cape. He invited me. Beautiful. Not of but I am free of your minions' thrall. The Karaki people will never suffer your tyrannical rule. Come on, Gar. Oh, monkey. No, oh, his eyes just turned green. 
I don't know that monkey was nibbling on him. Karak will be mine. Sorry you had to lie to everyone like that, but I couldn't think of any other way to convince the public Queen Bee was behind this. She's familiar with lying. I just realized, like, yeah, Aqualad's not there. Your Zatanna's not build, there. Hey, Bruce Wayne sure got here fast. Almost like he knew. Something you'd like to tell us? I based my entire personality off a canceled TV show from like 2001. Growing up on Mars was not a happy time for me, but Megan helped me smile through a lonely childhood. So when I came to Earth, as the awkward white cousin, form, I chose you. Which begs the question what do you really look like? She's gonna do like a green Martian transformation. Yeah. This is who I am. Inside. I'm honored. Megan, you saved my son. He says he's your blood brother now. No, he sure will be. Can't know what that means to me. <laughs> I'm so tickled by her being absolutely crazy. <laughs> like she's just dealing with some stuff, but like in an unhinged way. Whoa. Look at the style on her! It would be a shame to wake him. I might have to order my little thrall here to damage himself. Okay, enthralling a child is gross. We're not gonna discuss that. Poor Simon's not the only one who knows your true form. And if you don't cooperate, I'll make sure every. I mean, you could just brave blast her too. Really in for a penny, are. in for a pound. Destroy a country, why not? Gonna get blackmailed by the enemy so people don't know I'm ugly. <laughs> Ooh, child, <laughs> she needs therapy <laughs> so much. That was a deeply uncomfortable episode, like on so many levels that I just did not anticipate. And I feel bad, I'm truly a fake fan because I did not realize that Aqualad, Artemis, and Zatanna were not on this mission. We may have gotten a little sneaky, sneaky origin story for Garfield which is, I'm really excited about. I don't know how it's gonna translate. Like, okay, he has Martian blood in him. Shape-shifting ability therein. And I don't know, that, that monkey was nibbling on him a little bit. I didn't trust that, but I don't see why being nibbled on by a monkey would be like, oh, and now I can shape-shift into all animals. But I'm not a Beast Boy expert. Can he shape-shift into other things? Can he just chooses to be animals? But like, it's still just a base shape-shifting ability. Does he like need their DNA like Animorphs? <laughs> I hope this is just an Animorphs prequel um, is actually what I'm looking for. So McGann is actually a white Martian, which is why she's so like twitchy about it whenever it's been brought up. We don't actually know that Martian Manhunter even knows that she's a white Martian because she's been cosplaying for so long as a green Martian. This is passing, what? <laughs> Oh my god, McGann has been passing as green this whole time. <laughs> By Nella Larson, 19, what, 20, whatever year it was. Um, it's a good book slash movie on Netflix now, Tessa Thompson, Ruth, Ruth Naga. <laughs> so funny to think of it like that. But um, so yeah, it's, it's a passing story. She doesn't want anyone to know she's secretly white. Um, she's created her entire identity off of a TV show she connected with, which I can kind of relate to. And, I mean, not to that degree, but still. Uh, who amongst us hasn't made your entire personality a TV show you like? But, like, to the degree where all of her actions are now in question, especially with her relationship with Superboy, because, like, not only is her lack of sense of self-evident, not just with McGann the construction or Megan the construction of itself, but also cosplaying as poor... Black Canary for foreplay no one wants to think about. And then the fact that she named the dude she liked, who happens to look creepily like the love interest from the TV show she's built herself upon, named him after that love interest on that TV show a while ago, like several complaint videos ago, I was saying how I didn't really understand their relationship because I just hadn't seen the moments where I could see what about Connor McGann liked. Like, I could see why he liked her because she was super nice to him and super, like, she paid a lot of attention to him and she made him feel special. 
okay, fine. I can see why you're into that. But for him, I was just like, before. now we've seen a softer side of him, but way before he ever displayed that, she was super into him. And I didn't get why. And now I'm just like, is it just because he looks like that TV show, dude? Because, oh, God. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> You can't even bring Black Canary back to be her therapist because I just, I don't think you'd want to be the therapist of someone who's cosplayed as you for sex reasons. That's gross. <laughs> like, I feel like that would be more than enough to be like, let's recommend you to another provider. And like, this was kind of a plot episode because we know Queen Bee is in the light. She tried to take over another country. She used Simon again to do the, you know, take you over. Simon was in charge of Hamster Ball and all of the stolen apocalypse weapons. Well, no, those weren't apocalypse weapons. Hamster Ball is from the... The, the New God's World. What a... I can't remember what it was called. But either way, they're somehow getting Amazon deliveries from other planets, from both sides of an intergalactic war, and... I don't know why taking over not Iraq was going to help their plan. I mean, it could just be to, you know, gain more power the same way them helping not Dr. Doom take over not Latvia would help them get gain p control of another country. But, I mean, if, if it's just as simple as world domination, then yes, these are the little moves you do. But they're not that little. At least taking over a country you're already in line to take over makes sense mind controlling your democratically elected presidential neighbor and being like yes let's all be one country that's gonna cause some buzz some panic as we just saw and I don't I mean I guess I was gonna say I don't think blackmailing a teenager is gonna be the key to world domination but when the key when the teenager in question is apparently deranged and I mean that like affectionately because oh baby at least now you're interesting give me a little bit of crazy but when the teenager in question is apparently literally scarlet witch levels of powerful and also crazy then yeah that's a pretty powerful weapon yeah so I don't think I really have a concise wrap-up for this episode because I was just taken aback the entire time but it was a very good episode. It just made the character I was least interested very interesting. And I was an A-plus guesser this round. Christmas Miracle, I did great. Um, so I, I, I don't know what the next episode is. I guess do we continue with McGann being blackmailed by Queen B? Like, is she gonna leak information? They're already on the lookout for a mole. So is that like, is the mole hunt and McGann's new blackmail gonna you know, run into each other? Is Connor going to ask some, I think, necessary questions about how far her Hello Megan TV show fetish goes? <laughs> Which is apparently something we're discussing on the show now. I was not prepared at all. All right, so this was an absolutely insane episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. All that good stuff that makes me very happy. If you don't want to do any of that, but you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you. I still really appreciate you. You can follow me on Twitter at Leah Sees Movies, and I'll catch you guys next time and next year. Happy New Year!